What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be discussing my picks for the Golden Globes coming up next. All right, first up, we got Best Picture and Drama. We got Avatar, The Way of Water, Elvis, The Fablemans, Tar, Top Gun Maverick. For here, I'm torn between Top Gun Maverick, Fablemans, or Avatar, but I think Steven Spielberg is gonna take here with The Fablemans. Next up, we got Best Picture in a Musical or Comedy. We got Babylon. Banshees of Inishirim, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Glass Onion, and Triangle Sadness. Here I was just torn between Banshees or Everything Everywhere. I think they both stand a good shot. I'm going to go with my number one movie of the year, Banshees of Inishirim. Next up, we got Best Actress in a Drama, Kate Blanchett, Olivia Coleman, Viola Davis, Ana de Armas, and Michelle Williams. Here I think it's going to be an obvious sweep. I think Kate Blanchett's going to win that. I wasn't a big fan of Tar. Personally, but I think her performance is really amazing. Next up, we got Best act Actor in a Drama. We got Austin Butler, Brendan Fraser, Hugh Jackman, Bill Nighy, and Jeremy Pope. I haven't seen the inspection of Jeremy Pope or Living with Bill Nighy or The Sun, but I don't think they're going to win it. I think it's going to be between Brendan Fraser, Austin Butler, but I think Austin Butler is going to take it here. All right, now we got Best Actress in a Motion Picture for a Musical or Comedy. Got Leslie Manville, Margot Robbie, Anya Taylor-Joy, Emma Thompson, or Michelle Yeoh. Here, I think it's also going to be a sweep. Michelle Yeoh is going to take this. I did enjoy Margot Robbie's performance, but I think everyone's going to vote for Michelle Yeoh because I think she gave the best performance as an actress of the year, and I hope she wins the Oscar for that one, too. And then next up, we got Best Actor in a Musical Comedy. We've got Diego Calva, Daniel Craig, Adam Driver, Colin Farrell and Ray Fiennes. I'm happy to see Ray Fiennes here for the menu because he was excellent. Diego Calva, I'm happy to see him here too because he was outstanding, the best part of Babylon. But I think Colin Farrell's going to easily win this. He's the best actor performance of the 2022 for me, so give it to him, please. Best actress in a motion picture, we got Angela Bassett, Carrie Condon, Jamie Lee Curtis, Dolly D. Leon, and Carrie Mulligan. I'm surprised Carrie Mulligan made it here. But I'm happy to see Dolly D. Leon for Triangle of Sadness and Angela Bassett. I would want Angela Bassett to win, but I think Carrie Condon deserves it because her performance in Banshees was stunning. And last up on this page, we got Best Supporting Actor in a Motion Picture. We got Brennan Gleeson, Barry Keoghan for Banshees, Brad Pitt for Babylon, Ki Hu Kwan for Everything Everywhere, Eddie Redmayne for The Good Nurse. I'm surprised Eddie Redmayne's there, but he gave a really good performance on The Good Nurse, so I'm happy about it. But I think this is going to be a sweep, and Ki Hu Kwan is going to win this, and he's going to win the Oscar later this year. All right, we got Best Director in a Motion Picture. We got James Cameron, The Daniels, Baz Luhrmann, Martin McDonough, and Steven Spielberg. That's a hell of a lineup right there. I'm torn between Steven Spielberg, James Cameron, or Martin McDonough here, but I feel like the Golden Globes are going to give it to Steven Spielberg here for the Failments, and I'm happy about that. We got Best Screenplay for a Motion Picture. We got Todd Field for Tar, The Daniels for Everything Everywhere, Mark McDonough for The Banshees, Sarah Polly for Woman Talking, and Tony Kushner for The Fablemans. I really think that the one that deserves it is going to be Mark McDonough for Banshees. His scripts are spectacular, and I think he should get that one. Best Animated Film. We got Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Inuo. I haven't seen that film. Marcel the Shell's Shoes On, I haven't seen that one either. Puss in Boots, Last Wish. Turning Red, I haven't seen two of the films here, but I've seen the other three. But I really do think Pinocchio is going to win here, and then it's going to win the Oscar later this year. And then last on the page, we got Best Picture in Non-English. All Quiet on the Western Front, Argentina 1985, Close, Decision to Leave, or RRR. I think that the three contenders here are going to be RRR, Decision to Leave, or All Quiet. But if it was down to me... I would give All Quiet on the Western Front the win. That film was spectacular. All right, next up, we got Best Score in a Movie. We got Carter Burwell for Banshees, Alexandre Desplat for Pinocchio, Hilder for Woman Talking, Justin Hurwitz for Babylon, and John Williams for The Fablemans. I think the Golden Globes might give it to John Williams just because it's John Williams, but I really do think Justin Hurwitz should win for Babylon. It's my favorite score of the year. It's, it's an insane score. Best song on a motion picture, we got Where the Crawdads Sing, Carolina, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Chow Papa, Top Gun Maverick, Hold My Hand, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Lift Me Up, RR, Not Too, Not Too. 
I really think it should be Lift Me Up here. It's an amazing song, and it's a great tribute to Chadwick Boseman. But I wouldn't be mad if they gave it to Chow Papa or Hold My Hand. Next up, we're approaching the TV section of the Golden Globes. I'm happy that they do movies and TV. Best Drama Series. We got Better Call Saul, The Crown, House of the Dragon, Ozark, or Severance. Right here, I'm thinking it would either be House of the Dragon or Severance. Severance was an amazing show to come out. Or I think another pick that they could do would be Better Call Saul because they just had their final season. But I think that the Golden Globes are going to give it to Severance. So I'm going to say Severance for that one. And then last on the page, we got Best Musical slash Comedy Series, Abbott Elementary, The Bear, Hacks, Only Murders, and Wednesday. I'm happy to see Wednesday in here. It's a very good debut show for Netflix. And I think it's either going to be Abbott Elementary or The Bear. I'm leaning slightly over to The Bear because the performances in that show are really good. And Episode 7 of that show is just amazing. All right, on the next page, we got Best Limited Series. It's going to be Blackbird, Dahmer, The Dropout, Pam and Tommy, and The White Lotus. I'm really thinking it's going to be either Dahmer or The Dropout here. I would personally give it a dropout. I think it's a better show, but Dahmer could maybe win it. Best Actress in the Limited Series, we got Jessica Chastain, Julia Gardner, Lily James, Julia Roberts, or Amanda Seyfried. Amanda Seyfried won the Emmy last year, so I think the Golden Globes are going to give her this award. Best Actor in the Limited Series, we got Taron Egerton, Colin Firth, Andrew Garfield, Evan Peters, Sebastian Stan, I think here, this one's a toss-up, but I think Evan Peters gave such a menacing and great performance as Dahmer. I think that he should 100% get the sword. But if I was to give it to someone else, I think it would go to Andrew Garfield or Taron Edgerton. And then last on the page, we've got Best Television Actress in a Drama, Emma Darcy, Laura Linney, Imelda Staunton, Taylor Swanks or Zendaya. I really don't think it's a competition here. I think they're going to give it to Zendaya once again. Because she earned it. Every season she earns it on Euphoria. That show is just insane. She carries it on her back through a lot of the show. She's amazing in it. I think it's going to go to Zendaya for Euphoria. Alright, next we got Best Television Actor. We got Jeff Bridges, Kevin Costner, Diego Luna, Bob Odenkirk, Adam Scott. I'm happy to see Diego Luna here for his work in Andor. He was excellent on that show. And I think this is between Bob Odenkirk or Adam Scott. I feel like they might give it to Bob Odenkirk because it was his last season on Better Call Saul and he's amazing in that show. But also there's an argument for Adam Scott since he is awesome in Severance. He got me into that show. But for here, I think I'm going to go with Bob Odenkirk because it's his last season on Better Call Saul and he just does wonders on that show. He even had a medical emergency on that show. Just give him the award. Next up, we got Best Television Actress for Musical or Comedy. Quinta Brunson, Kaylee Cuoco, Selena Gomez, Jenna Ortega, and Gene Smart. Really happy to see Jenna Ortega here and Selena Gomez, but I'm going to have to give it to Quinta Brunson for Abbott Elementary. That show is like the new office for me. It's so funny, so great. The script is awesome too. Next up, we got Best Television Actor in a Musical or a Comedy. Donald Glover, Bill Hader, Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Jeremy Allen White. I haven't seen Atlanta, but I really want to see it because I know Donald Glover probably gives amazing performance. But here it's going to be either Bill Hader or Jeremy Allen White. I don't know here because Jeremy Allen White's performance in The Bear was stunning. One of the best performances of last year. But Bill Hader and Barry is just intoxicating. That performance is crazy all throughout. I think I'm going to pick Jeremy Allen White for this because of his monologue in the last episode. And his performance in episode 7 was just fantastic. Last on the page, we got Best Supporting Actress in a Limited Television Series, Jennifer Coolidge, Claire Danes, Daisy Edgar-Jones, Edgar Nancy da nash Betts, and Aubrey Plaza. I think they're going to give it to Jennifer Coolidge here. I'm not really fond of her performance in The White Lotus, but I think they're going to give it to her. So I'm going to just go with Jennifer Coolidge. All right, next page, we got Best Supporting Actor for a Limited Television Series, we got F. Murray, Murray Abraham, Domino Gleason, Paul Walter Hauser, Richard Jenkins, or Seth Rogen. Right here, I think it's either between Domino Gleason or Paul Walter Hauser. I'm going to give it to Paul Walter Hauser. And then we got Best Supporting Actress in Television Series. We got Elizabeth Debicki, Hannah Einbinder, Julia Gardner, Janelle James, and Cheryl Lee Ralph. 
I don't know about this one because I haven't seen a lot of the shows, but I would want Julia Gardner to get the win for the last season of Ozark on that one. Best Supporting Actor for a Television Series, we got John Lithgow, Jonathan Price, John Turturro, Tyler James Willing, and Henry Winkler. I think this one's either between John Turturro or Henry Winkler for Barry. I'm going to give it to Henry Winkler. That's going to be my pick. His work in Barry is outstanding, and I really do love it. I hope you guys all enjoyed my Golden Globes picks for 2023. Leave yours in the comments. And if you like my awards picks, stay tuned for the rest of the year. We got the Oscars coming up and the Emmys. See you guys there.